for this demonstration, we're going to talk about how to group by or change your group name. We're going to customize the group name. To do that, there's a couple of different methods. One method is to create a formula field and then group by that formula field. The method we're going to use is we're going to change that group name. First thing we're going to do is we're going to group and we're going to group by the order number. So we'll find order number out of orders. The orders table, order number right there. Now by default, the group name is going to be the field you're grouping by. To change that, we're going to go to options and we're going to say customize the group name field. And we're going to select this use formula as group name. So I'll pull up my formula editor, editor and we're going to create the formula that will be our group name. So I'm going to type into quotes here order number and close the quotes and then I'm going to concatenate on the order number. Now in order to do that we have to change that order number to a string. I don't want any special formatting. Normally it'll put decimals on there if we don't change it to a string and, and format it properly, it'll put decimals on there. It may put currency symbols, things like that. We don't want to have that happen. So in order to do that, we're going to use the CString method, CSTR, and in parentheses, we will put the order number. There we go. And then for no formatting, we'll do a comma for zero decimal places, comma, and an empty set of quotes um, so that it does not add any special formatting. And then we'll do a save and close. Then we hit OK. Hit preview. You see we now have order number and order number there with no special formatting and no decimals. And that is how you change the group name field.